The trail is a simple effect that can add a trail to your character or any object in the game. This trail will move around with the physics in the world of your game. To use the trail, first drag and drop the trail icon from the effects section into your scene. When the trail is selected, you'll be able to change its options in the right hand side. In the Transform section, we have the trail's position, rotation, scale, and opacity. In the Image section, we can add a texture for this trail. For this example, I'll just use a simple white trail as a texture. I'll drag it in from my computer and drop it into the box. The start width is how many pixels wide the trail will be in the beginning. The end width is how many pixels wide the trail will be at the end. The speed is how fast the trail will move. The length is how many pixels long the trail will be, and we can also change the wave height and length if we want natural flowing motion for our trail. Let's use these defaults and attach the trail to our character. To do this, we need to go into connection mode by hitting the connection button. Then we will create a new connection by making a line from the character to the trail, simply by clicking and dragging. It's important to start with the character as he will be the one initially moving. Now I'm going to place this trail directly in the center of our character. And when I hit the play button, you can see the trail is now following the character. And when we jump, the trail follows the character and makes this pretty cool effect. So that's how to use trails. These can be attached to any object in your game or used as a standalone effect. Thanks for watching.